as this crypto market gets more and more bullish over the long term, one of the best things you can be doing is continuing to add very unique, very new, very innovative crypto projects to your radar. And guys, that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this very special video. So we are going to be taking a look at the Shesmu ecosystem exactly what they are building out in the crypto space. So I'm seeing some things that I haven't seen done before in the crypto market right here with this crypto project. So we're gonna be learning about this, exactly what these guys are doing in the crypto market right now is an exciting project and some other very important things to know about this one right now. So if you guys enjoy learning about some of the most unique crypto projects super early right here on the channel, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button on this video. Shout out to Shesmu for partnering with me on this video. And guys, let's get straight into this one. So this is a very unique crypto project. I actually have not seen something like this done before in the crypto market. And what they are actually doing is I would classify this one overall as a very high utility DeFi cross-pollination network, basically. So you can see from the X account, it says right here, the first hybrid isolated lending market supported by ERC-20, ERC-721, and ERC-1155 assets, cross-chain router decks, and pioneer of the supply elastic NFT Phi model. So this is like, uh, this is new stuff coming out in the crypto market. Very, very interesting indeed. There is actually a token that fuels entry into this ecosystem. Uh, it has been doing uh, very well and it's definitely one to keep on the radar. It's super low cap at the moment, but we'll talk more about this as this uh, video unfolds. And uh, one thing to understand about this crypto is there is a big focus on Guardian NFT. So people can actually join the Shesmu community by getting one of these NFTs. And these actually do different things in the crypto space. So if you actually have a look at some of the tiers of this, you can see Craftsman, Scribe, High Priest, Noble, Vizier's Pharaoh as well. So Pharaoh is actually the highest tier. These are DeFi NFTs in the crypto space. So these actually emit the crypto itself and you have to actually pay the crypto to get entry into these effectively. So if you actually have a look, the rewards on the different scales right here. So the craftsman, he's 1X, so he's worth one guardian. Each craftsman pays one Shesmu daily in USDC rewards. And the highest one is the Pharaoh right here. So Pharaoh 100X, he's worth 100 guardians and each pharaoh pays 10 Shesmu daily and USDC rewards. And to actually, you know, mint these, you have to burn tokens in exchange for guardians. So each guardian is worth 12 Shesmu. So 12 Shesmu equals one guardian. And then depending on the tier you want to go for, you have to figure out how many guardians uh, you want to get. So again, the pharaoh is worth 100 guardians. The craftsman is worth one guardian right there. And this crypto also has a massive focus on burning up uh, to gain entry or sacrificing to gain entry within the ecosystem. There is also three big pillars that underlie this crypto ecosystem. So scarcity is the core of the value. So you're gonna find scarcity plays a huge role of this, both with the token, with the burning of the token, also those tiers of NFTs as well. Stability, so they've thought through a lot of tokenomic incentives. We're gonna talk about that very soon and uh, to reward, you know, to maintain that longevity within the ecosystem. And there's also rewards. So at the end of the day, you know, the Guardian owners earn Shesmu and USDC rewards. So again, you know, people who are getting these NFTs, you're gonna get rewarded with DeFi rewards right here, which I do think is uh, very exciting. And there's a lot of exciting things. So you're gonna see daily Shesmu rewards for this. USDC rewards as well. And there's also no lockout periods as well. So Guardian owners always have the ability to sell the Guardians, meaning no liquid positions ever. So cross-pollinating between the actual uh, token right here and also the Guardian. And if we actually learn more about the actual ecosystem as well, so there's a heap of information in their Git book right here. And I actually really like the, um, the law behind this as well. So one thing to understand about this is it's actually based off some mythology. So Shesmu is the Egyptian god of red wine perfumes 
and most importantly, sacrifice. But we're talking about sacrifice in a positive way, as in, you know, getting rid of some tokens to gain entry into the ecosystem. And they've also got those guardians, so those guardian NFTs as well with the enhanced scarcity. And, uh, you know, you have to burn up the token to actually get access into the protocol, which I do think is very cool. And they are, you know, unleashing a huge amount of utility. So you're going to see, you know, cross pollination with other ecosystems, other NFTs as well. And if we actually walk through, you know, some of the big aspects of this uh, crypto ecosystem, you know, we do have the Guardian NFTs as, you know, part of the core of this, I would say. And you can see specifically some of the different rewards right here you get. So 100 Guardians, 12 tokens per day. And this is basically the expected payouts right here. So nice rewards with the Guardian NFTs. They've also got something within the ecosystem called the Agora. And basically, this is LP bonding. Users participate by lending their capital to be used for LP for set amounts of time. For their efforts, they are compensated with options to purchase Shesmu at discounted prices based on timeframes. This is available via USDC, either externally or supplied, or can be allocated from Guardian Rewards. The discounts are also here as well. So people basically, you know, they participate in this, they get discounts to purchase Shesmu at a discount. So I do think this is a very exciting aspect uh, of this ecosystem right here. They also have something called the Nile, and the Nile acts as an on-ramp that allows users to directly purchase Shesmu from credit cards and bank accounts, cross-chain routers via Squid Router, and Shesmu OTC via YDF. And this is good as well. So this is gonna enable more capital inflows into the ecosystem. And one of the biggest things to watch out for is actually the Shesmu Oasis. So I actually saw some big tweets getting put out about this and have a look at this over on X. The Oasis mainnet better is live. Dive into shares USD markets now and uh, borrow shares USD against, you know, actual uh, NFTs out there. So this is crazy, but board up your yacht club, pudgy penguins, Pendlefy. So there's a lot of cross pollination happening right here. And I think this is very cool. And if we actually learn about the Oasis, this is a flagship product. And this is going to include unique hybrid collateralized lending. So traditionally, DeFi loans have been relying on ESC20 tokens as sources of collateral. But having said that, things are changing with Shesmo because basically you can tap into all types of other types of assets right here. So we're talking about Shes ETH slash Shes USD curve pool against ERC721, ERC1155s. And this is looking very, very cool. So again, you know, really tapping into some big innovation here with the Oasis. And uh, this is stuff that I have not really seen done before in the cryptocurrency market. So I have to say, it is unique. They do have some big things that do actually make this more unique than anything else out there. So customized market dynamics, they're tailoring LTV ratios and interest rates to the unique characteristics of each asset. There's risk containment as well by segregating markets. Oasis ensures that volatility in one asset class doesn't spill over into others as well. And I do think that is very cool. So a lot of these you know, assets will be unique in terms of their rewards, in terms of their risk ratios. So again, the Huda Ape Yacht Club uh, you know, NFT collection, that's a very premier, you know, exclusive NFT collection. That's going to be slightly different to Pudgy Penguins. And it's going to be different to, you know, the other assets within, you know, the vaults right here as well. So this is looking very, very interesting. These guys also have a ton of uh, how-to guides on how to actually get involved within the ecosystem, which I do think is good. There are also big elements of, you know, bribes, governance and incentive structures within uh, the ecosystem right here that does continue to you know flow the capital throughout the ecosystem they also have a growth fund as well within the ecosystem this fund using team owned tokens which will be allocated to activities relating to the platform the growth fund is going to play a pivotal role in supporting and expanding the oasis ecosystem its strategic development will be key to fostering long-term platform development and community benefits and a lot of other things as well. And I do think that's good. So a lot of the time in crypto projects, you know, funding is super important. People don't realize, you know, you have to pay for things in crypto. So it can be anything from development to, uh, you know, enhancing the DeFi ecosystem to, you know, potentially getting onto more crypto exchanges as well. 
stuff costs money and it's great that they do have a growth fund as well they've also got opportunities for leveraging yield with looping on oasis as well so this oasis ecosystem it's going to be very very interesting and uh you know this basically enhances you know them to tap into different assets and uh, potentially you know get bigger aprs if they weren't to deploy this type of uh you know leveraging yield with looping basically so so it is definitely some innovative DeFi ecosystem work at play and this is going to continue to develop within the oasis they're also going to plan to allocate a large portion of the shesmu growth fund to incentivizing liquidity in shares usd and shares eth pools as well so they're going to aim to enhance stable pools boosting the attractiveness of a shares usd pool through eth incentives making it a lucrative option for lps and uh, really overall you know they're aiming to incentivize considerable growth in protocol tvl so anytime in crypto you know you want to look at adoption in DeFi, look at the tvl amounts and these guys have a huge focus on that as well. So they want to enhance the TVL right there and make it more rewarding for participants within the ecosystem. There's also going to be a big focus on peg stability to maintain that longevity within the ecosystem. And they will also be working on more and more, you know, enhanced revenue sharing as this ecosystem unfolds as well. So with Oasis, they plan on introducing a single side staking, a preliminary step in preparing the platform's revenue sharing architecture. And in terms of security, this ecosystem has a big focus on that. And so they are conducting an audit for Oasis with Hiker since OX Weiss to minimize you know, the risk of our exploits in the crypto space, which I do think is very good. And they do have some very interesting things to handle liquidations in Oasis as well. So they've thought through a lot of things uh, within this ecosystem and it's going to be very very interesting uh, to see how this one goes so overall you know i see this one as a you know next level innovative DeFi ecosystem play at work so there's an absolute ton of information on the website kind of breaking down the tokenomics breaking down you know how this whole how the ecosystem works uh, relates to each other and i do think it's definitely a very innovative you know crypto to have on the radar so again it is tied directly into the Shesmu token right here. This is a low cap crypto in the crypto market with some very, very unique things going uh, in the background tied into Oasis and the whole Shesmu ecosystem right here. And at the moment, this one is only trading over on Uniswap. So again, very new project, only trading on Uniswap. Shesmu wrapped ETH is the pair. And there's a ton of information coming out over on X as well. So if you guys are interested in learning more about this crypto project, I totally recommend check them out over on X, check them out in the Telegram as well. I'll leave a link to the link tree as well. And there is a lot of exciting things getting built out on this crypto project right now. So definitely a good one to have on the radar right now with some huge DeFi opportunities as well. And uh, guys, that is a very, very exciting look at the Shesmu ecosystem, the token, plus a lot more. If you guys enjoy learning about these projects super early, very early on the radar, make sure to subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell. Really appreciate you guys tuning into this one. I hope this project does go very well and I'll see you guys in the next one. Crypto Zeus signing out.